So in this video I'm going to show you how to reset, restart and reload the software onto a Bitax Gamma 601. So as you can see mine is functioning okay but if let's say you set up the wrong Wi-Fi password or the hash rate isn't showing or you're not able to connect to it this video will show you how to reset it completely reload the software so you can reset it up. So what you need to do first is get yourself a USB-C to USB-A cable to plug into your computer. Now it has to be USB-A and USB-C. You can't use USB-C to USB-C even if your computer can handle USB-C plugged directly in because it just won't work and just won't find it. Next what you got to do is go to your computer and go to this website you see here. It's a Bitax Web Flasher. I'll leave a link in the description where you can have a look and um, go to this site if you're needing to do this. Next thing you do is you plug in the USB-C into the USB-C port. And then you plug the other side into your computer. Now we go down here to connect. And it should be, if you've got no other devices, this one here. So USB T, uh, sorry, USB J T A G, and then go connect. You have to access the side buttons here. What we'll do is we'll click boot, and we'll reset the device. I'll switch it off at the PowerPoint. Disconnect it from the computer. Now I've shown you how to find it because you can log through there as well. And then switch it back on, holding in boot, release. Now we should be able to go connect and find it here. As you can see, the screen is blank. Now we go select device. We want to click gamma. And we'll go 601. Now we'll click start flashing. This shouldn't take too long at all. As you can see, it says flashing is complete. So now, but we didn't select the firmware version. So if you don't select the firmware version, it will just continue as normal, but your device won't start up correctly. So we'll do that again. Make sure you've got it, gamma. 601 and the firmware version will just go for the highest firmware. There's nothing wrong that I'm aware of with that one at the moment. Now we'll go start flashing. You'll see it takes longer. So this is something you must do. Now it's preparing to flash. As I said, it should take a couple minutes to go through at the most. And now it says that the device ha flashing has completed and to restart the device. So we'll just switch it off at the PowerPoint once again and back on. And now we'll do a self test to make sure that there's no issues with the device. Now I'm switching off the PowerPoint just to see if this makes a difference. a few times yeah we have to reset it now if this doesn't work you may have to reload the software but generally just switching it off and back on even if the reset button doesn't work I'm just going through all these sort of steps just to make sure if any of these things happen for you that it's easy to get through as you can see switching it off at the PowerPoint has got it to complete its self-test. Now I don't need it to do a test because I've tested it before and it works fine. So we'll hold the boost button for two, uh, the boot button for two seconds, and then we'll switch it off and back on. And hopefully that gets us back to where we should be. I'll we'll go 
battery set. There we go. So now we're ready to connect it up. So if you want to see how to connect it up, I'll leave a little link up the top and this will show you how to connect it up from the beginning if you haven't connected one up before or you're having issues. Anyway, that's the video today and thanks for watching.